Hello makers and welcome back to Spectiva Studios. It's good to have you here. Now, a couple weeks ago, we approached what happens if you have a paintbrush that maybe you neglected, I don't know, maybe you forgot to wash because you got distracted by something else and as a result, yeah, you got a crusty, old, nasty paintbrush, which frankly looks like it's probably destined for the garbage can. And we found that you can actually go in and uh, maybe revitalize this paintbrush. And uh, by the way, I'll put the link for that video down here if you want to check it out. But today I want to continue this conversation about paintbrush maintenance and care. And by the way, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not necessarily uh, the best use case for a lot of this because I have the tendency to, well, forget to wash my paintbrushes from time to time and some of them have ended up definitely in the trash. But what I want to talk today are five things that you can do to prolong the life of your paintbrush, especially when you look at paintbrush prices, you can be a little bit of sticker shock, right? So let's take a look at these five different things that you should know about. And the first is don't let your brushes sit in water for a long time. Now, I have the tendency, and, and you may as well, uh, I have a mason jar here with, with water in it. And when my brushes get dirty while I'm working on a project, I have the tendency to drop them in here, and I'll, I'll deal with it later. And that may take just a few minutes, right? Within an hour, the brushes will be all cleaned. I have a situation in which my studio does not have running water, so I have to go off to another room to wash my brushes. Not a problem, but while I'm working on a project, yeah, that, that's not what I want to be able to do. So drop them in the water so they don't dry. I'll get to them with the next little bit. But there have been a few occasions, uh, I will admit, where maybe... Uh, I don't know, a few hours turned into a few days or possibly weeks if I got very busy with something else. And what happens, of course, is that you're dealing with, you know, a paintbrush that has a wood core, mostly. And what starts to happen, of course, when you put wood into water for a prolonged period of time is it can swell up, right? It can start to break things. And, of course, if that's what's holding your bristles in is that tension and it starts to swell up and then maybe shrink when it dries, the bristles are going to fall out. So it's not going to be good for that. And I've also seen on the cheaper brushes, sometimes the metal cap in here uh, will start to rust, which is not something you want to have happen either. So bottom line is simply, don't soak your brushes for several weeks in a row because that's not good for them. You want to make sure you get to cleaning your brushes out as quickly as possible. Now, number two is what happens if you have a brush that's just basically had a bit of a rough time. Whether it's something that you've recently uh, left uh, in uh, the water too long or, or the water dried out. And I have a few brushes here. These are workhorse brushes. They owe the world nothing. And to be honest, they're really stiff because most of like from halfway the brush down is dried paint of sorts. And as we discovered in our brush revitalization program, yeah, we could take something uh, like Murphy's oil soap. Using Murphy's oil soap and soaking your brushes in it for a few hours can do an awful lot to take all that dried paint out and really revitalize these brushes and make it a lot easier for you to give them a prolonged life. So again, if you weren't able to clean your brushes as well as you really should have at the time, uh, there may be a second life. It's going to take a couple of hours of soaking, but it's going to give you an opportunity again to make your brushes fresh and ready for new projects. Now, tip number three is something that makes sense, but it's make sure you're maintaining your brushes while you're working with them. One of my favorite tools is uh, this guy here. I don't know how well you can see this. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it sideways. This is a brush cleaning tool that basically allows me, while I'm working on a project, to be able to take my paintbrush, here's one here, and to scrub it right here. There are little ridges. You might not be able to see them, but it gives me an opportunity to be able to come in here and to scrub away and this little reservoir will fill up and as it fills up it allows me to do it and every time I need to refresh the water I just push the button and off it's running and fresh water will come in and the good news is now instead of having this sitting in a bucket soaking as I have the tendency to do I can make sure that things are refreshed pretty easily and then oftentimes it's just a matter of taking a sheet of paper towel and being able to wipe it down and make sure that there's no more paint coming off of it and you're revitalized and ready to go. Now, depending on how many paintbrushes you have in your collection, and I don't really want to even count mine because it's, I'm sure, a big number, and I have drawers where I'll buy things that are on sale and I'll put these in these drawers and I'll have them ready to go. But when I do have my paintbrushes that I'm using on a regular basis, one of the most important things I can do is store them in a container so that the bristles are pointing up. Now, 
you may never have thought of this, but of course if the bristles were all sitting at the bottom, what's going to end up happening when you reach for a paintbrush eventually is you're going to have kind of a mashed end or a curved tip or something that's not going to make your process a lot easier. So simply being able to take your paintbrush, put it into a container, and say, okay, next time I need you, you're going to look pristine and beautiful the way you currently are is a perfect way to get things going. And the final tip is when you are mixing paints, and we have to mix paints all the time, use something like a palette knife instead of your brush, right? A palette knife can really go in there and can really start to mix these different colors together, blend things the way you want them to be blended, and that way you're not taking it out on your paintbrush, which again, if you wanted to maintain its shape, it's going to do a lot better job if you're not mashing it into a palette to be able to color those paints together, right? So something to think about. And it's a quick and easy one this week, but again, maintenance of our paintbrushes is very important. And by the way, if you like what we covered today, then please feel free to hit that like button. It really helps us out within YouTube. And if you like what we're talking about here, we drop a video every single Friday morning. We'd love to include you as part of the conversation on what we can do with our materials and our supplies in mixed media art creation in general. Anyway, thanks so much for dropping by. I'll see you soon.